lithium ion battery and a USB adapter. On the right hand side is a DC to DC converter. Now this uh, DC to DC converter I purchased from eBay. Um, it's a modular design, uh, very simple. You could you have the um, two uh, basically two set of connection. This is the twenty four input. It doesn't mean it must be twenty four. It can be lower. Okay. The output voltage is uh, twelve volt, maximum uh, thirty ampere. Okay. So you got two wire input positive negative and then you got output negative and positive so very simple design um, basically you need to do nothing at the end of the cable I put the connector so the input connector of course I put the male connector here the output need to be female so it has protection I was also okay. um, this is a uh, USB adapter. In order to open it, there are four screws we need to remove. One, two, three, and four. And plus, you need to either remove the label or to cut it. It's in here. And once you did, you can open it. Now, on this chassis, I make a hole here so I can pass through a couple of cable. This part, I take it away, and you can see the circuit board. That's the button. The physical button is here. Right. That's the battery connector. So you can take it away, and here is the USB board to uh, convert the uh, 18 volt DC to a 5 volt uh, USB power output okay. so all I need to do is to tap the positive cable here the negative cable here once it's done I can using this uh, cut hole to let the power cord pass through this hole I have already uh, modified the unit. You can see that the Huawei 18 volt um, lithium ion battery, USB adapter, and I put a uh, 25 amp fuse here. And that's the converter. And here's the output power. You can see the meter shows uh, about, about 12.2 watt. Why I need to tap into the power of this uh, YOB batteries because uh, I have uh, a lot of tools and a lot of batteries. Usually I use it to um, power my power tools. But at the same time, I like fishing. Sometimes I'm lazy. So this is uh, my electric motor. So I use this little mine battery to power my 12 volt um, water slip motor and this is the DC to DC converter it can convert 18 volt DC to 12 volt DC Oops. See? very steady you can see this line steady line 12 volt Currently is showing line M at high speed. This motor has uh, two speed. Speed one roughly show about uh, 60 watt. High speed number two show about 100 watt. And this is only 4 mAh battery. So I'm now doing some testing to see how long it can uh, last long for the uh, high speed mode. Uh, that's my Cobra kayak. I also have a foot pedal kayak, uh, Hobi Mirage 13. So that's my wild unit. 
is the uh, current tester. And you can see it connected to this display. Just plug into the fuse holder. Very easy to use. And then the fuse, pull out from the fuse holder, put it back to here. I also have a uh, Bluetooth uh, voltage analyzer. So we send the signal via Bluetooth to my mobile phone app. So this is the mobile phone app. At the moment is 12.17 uh, volt. Okay, that's the time. Okay. So far, I have turned it on for about four minutes, twenty seconds. What day? Wow! It finally died about twenty minutes. Wow! I'm now doing a full speed test. Got another 4 m hour batteries. The motor is draw about 8.5 m. Oh, I forgot to start my watch. I need to count the time. Got about one minute delay. It's okay. Okay, so come 10 back in 10.4. Now it's 22 minutes. Voltage is below 12. That means it's dying. Struggling. Very soon it will cut off. 23 minutes. My calculation is 25 minutes. Ooh, ooh, almost there. Oh, it's dying. Done and dusted. Finally, I finished my little project. So while we 18 volt leaving my battery. So 24 volt to 12 volt converter. It can take 18 volt input. Output still maintain 12.2 volt. I inserted a fuse. That's the output power of a 12 volt. And I can still access to the USB port. Thank you.